happy sunday who's drinking sorrow all year round like i am it's not only for christmas all right so we'll be making some sorrel i'm eating some rum cake well actually this this was actually christmas but i've been so busy so i'm sharing now all right so i have about six quarts of water i uh, brought to a boil i'm going to add ginger you can you know grate the ginger um and i also use about three cups of dried um sorrel hibiscus um, if you're fortunate or lucky to have the fresh sorrel, that's great. You can add some cinnamon stick, pimento seeds. Some people add, um, you know, anything else. Some people add lemon peel, whatever you want to add to your sorrel. So there's a, the dry sorrel. I picked this up at my local farmer's market in the Atlanta area. I'm just, you know, rinsing it off. All right. And the water has already um, came to a boil. So I'm just going to drop it in. And it's going to, I just leave it boiling for like five to 10 minutes. So it extract all the delicious flavors. Um, and then I'm gonna let it steep overnight. You can let it sit two to three days, extract all that flavor. Add as much ginger as you'd like. Um, if you don't have fresh ginger, you can also use a ginger powder. Um, I usually add extra ginger after so I can, you know, my kids don't like the, the strong ginger taste. So I'll add some additional ginger to mine as well. All right. So this is what it looks like after about three days. Um, and I'm, like I said, I drink sorry year round, not only Christmas, so I can share it now and, um, you know, just strain it off and that same sorrel you can add like another two to three quarts of water and you know draw another batch you can sweeten your sorrel with um sugar some people sweeten it with honey you can add wine i have red label wine i'm adding to mine and i'm also adding a little white rum so it's up to you get you some nice sorrel wine and if you leave this on the counter it'll definitely become fermented start tasting like a real wine um you you know like i said i'll preserve it i'll add the pimento seeds and the cinnamon stick to the bottle just gives it a nice flavor all right so definitely try that See how nice and rich and flavorful this looks it was delicious all right so it's a very easy process like i said about three cups of dried sorrel about six quarts of water and yeah just squeeze it out you can actually blend this as well all right so it's up to you you can also use a, a mesh nut bag to strain all right so these bottles are about one and a half liters they were previously moscato wine came in them so i'm repurposing them okay so this was christmas <laughs> i'm having a good time you can add a little bit more rum, a little bit more wine to yours. That's what I'm doing. I made some sorrel fruit cake, um, and I also made some regular fruit cake. So yes, and I'll be sharing those recipes in some upcoming videos as well. And there's my mom walking by. <laughs> All right, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. Make sure you also follow me on all platforms at The Reina's Kitchen, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I'm on all of them. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you all in the new year. Wishing you a prosperous and blessed 2022. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.